Cloudboy. My old spacesuit. It's going into its fifth rebuild. 16, 17 years old. Thorough whimsy project. When I do things like this, I just get carried away. I mean, I was doing it for comfort. And then I just get deep into it and I start rebuilding it and playing with it. So yes, it is comfortable. But yes, it is heavier because I've put more crap on it. And there's still more stuff to go on it. One of the things that's happening is in the backpack, you can see there's a hole here. Um, there's going to be two battery packs that go into this that my man Uber is uh, organizing. They're going to power all the electrics on it. That back section is actually made from part of an old whippersnipper. These little lights are going to be in here, here, and they're going to be running down and around these vents as well. Lights in here. There's going to be a lot of light on this eventually. Up on top here, there's a GoPro camera. You can just see in there, you can see the lens just through there. The rest of it's made from aluminium and um, an old camera and scrap and stuff. On the side, this will have a, a microphone running along it. And I've made this kind of muffler looking thing to go over the top. And then on the front, as well as the old helmet control, which is that one. Super slow, because it's more ridiculous to have a slow control on the helmet. I also made this little one down here. And if you turn this handle, you can just see up here, little radar dish, uh, which really does nothing. It's kind of fun, you know. And I also put extra pieces onto the arms, on the shoulders, on both sides. Kind of helps bulk out and give a bit more layering to the shoulders more. One of the tricky things about doing a, a costume is that you can only see it when it's on you and your your body informs the sculpture which is kind of different from how i normally work every now and again i'll put it on and take a photo and go ah that didn't really kind of work and then i have to kind of play with it a bit more and stuff like that but i got some really good shots taken recently when a friend was doing a portrait of me in the suit and i i I got a, a better feel for what's going on. I'm almost there, but it, it's, I'm still going to keep tweaking it because I've got to redo the boots soon as well. There's also this great little push button cupboard in the chest. And you'll recognize the button from your grandmother's kitchen because that's where I recognize it from. It's a classic Australian little cupboard button. This, couple of other things utility belt with underpants I thought it'd be hilarious if there was a uh, something like a, the um, the tether line that um, astronauts have and so one of the guys down in the um, rigging gym Got me this baby. So we're going around scaffolding. And then I put it on one of these. Which is another whippersnipper ripper thing. Very, very happy with that. That's a lot of fun. Adds about another kilo to the whole bugger. It's a little key ring as well. You can see that. The keyring has a little spaceship that a friend 3D printed. A little spaceman that was, I found in my crap. And a classic 1970s cusp 80s first Spaceman Lego series Spaceman. I, I had one left in my Lego in my Lego box and I scrounged through looking for it and I thought that's gotta go on there. So we can start a little collection. There we go. All right, big cob piece on the front. It's made from uh, poly pipe, which is just your down pipe on your house, and aluminium, and another great little catch 
from your grand's kitchen cupboard. I also thought it would be hilarious if the jock strap had this function. Yes, that's a power cord. See? This baby plugs into all of uh, Cloud Boy's accessories. No idea if that's going to get me in trouble in public, but I'll, you know, maybe not in front of kids. Actually, kids will probably be fine with this. Adults who kind of get shocked by that kind of stuff. Um, I seem to have lost the ray gun, so I don't know where that is. Little Cloud Boy badge for the front. I was trying to come up with something that was a little bit more uh, Sputnik, but uh, that was all I... That's a, just kept coming up the same thing over and over again. I'm not very good at logo design. You'd think I would be. I'm crap at it. I'm really bad. I get stuck on one idea and that's it. So you never know. That might change at some point. Everything else has. Found the gun. This had a couple of rehashes from a, a Nerf gun. But the original gun that Cloud Boy used had a fork that came out the end specifically because you couldn't actually reach your mouth if you wanted to eat something so it had utility anyway i wanted to continue the theme but i did this so you got this rather nice jetsons looking thing going on i'm very happy with the sound it makes it's excalibur cha-ching it's great little locking device I made inside with a couple of little sheets of plastic. Little plates on the side to go on magnets on the, the leg. Little details. That's a little wheel off of a car. I don't know, some Mazda something or other. I think it's one of the wheels from the vehicle that I chopped to pieces to make the red sculpture in my Bleak Show, if you check my website. Yeah, I think that's one of the original wheels. You can even look, you can even see the little breaks in there and that. That's what I've been up to. I don't have any drawing to show you. It just hasn't been happening lately. I'll get around to that at some point because there's going to be a lot of drawing to do with Cloud Boy at some point. His little adventures, uh, I want to keep putting those down as drawings like I did for the postcard show and then actually have a show down the track where all the drawings and all of his props and the spacesuit will all be on display. Um, which will be really fun. That's probably going to be towards summer. I think that's the most likely show I'm going to be doing this year.